Through These Doors is presented by Gate City Bank. This is Jack. Jack has a debit card from Gate City Bank. However, it looks like a little night ninja took off with his card, as they sometimes do. <laughs> but lucky for Jack, he can freeze his missing debit card with the tap of his mobile app. And even if his card is stolen or lost for good, he can go to any Gate City Bank location to get a new card issued instantly. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Last weekend, North Dakota headed west to Colorado Springs for their final regular season road trip of the year. UND had won 13 straight games over the Tigers leading into the series and aimed to pick up another win on Friday. Beaver now turning to the halfway, put in a front, Blake all alone, he scores! Tried to get him the pass, deflected away, came over to the far right side, a shot, they score! Six seconds, he'll skate down, and a great block, and that will send it to extra hockey. Kendrick forced wide by Yoon, gave it to Blake out near the blue line, cuts toward the slot with it, here comes Blake, shoots and scores! Jackson Blake fires it upper corner, 29 seconds into overtime, and then pitched up a souvenir into the crowd. But a big two points for North Dakota. Game two against Colorado College tonight after a thrilling two to one overtime win last night over CC. We'll see how this one plays out tonight in Colorado Springs. Clevin deep on the left side. Big defenseman centers it, comes right out front. James with a shot that's stopped by Vernon. Jeff Caulfield comes back the other way. Caulfield sends it out front. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save by Vernon. Breakaway chance. Here's Coffee being hacked. Black Coffee. His shot stopped by the Ritter. Gave into the Tiger zone. Ahead for Blake. Tip past him. There's the horn. So we played 65 minutes of scoreless hockey. And Ryan Beck's going to get things started. Beck, the left hand shot freshman, comes in on the Ritter. Wheels deal stopped by the rim. Next one wins, right? Yep. And it'll be Tyler Clevin yep. for North Dakota. Here comes Clevin. Moves in, shoots, score! Snapped it by Vernon. Two points for North Dakota. One for CC in the shootout victory. Congratulations to UND. Since mid-January, North Dakota's defensive play has been much improved, with only 13 even-strength goals allowed in their last 10 games. The team credits a defense-first mindset for their growth on the back end. I think it's just uh, you know what we're doing in practice. You know, we're really making an emphasis on defending hard and um, you know giving our goalies an opportunity to see every puck. We've worked on defensive play a lot in practice, and you know it shows in the games. I think. We're giving up less grade-A chances, and you know, that, that helps me out a lot. I think we just need to make sure that defense comes first. To, we can't, it's hard to win games when you give up four or five goals, uh, no matter how many goals you can score. So just kind of take a look in the mirror and realize uh, defense is important. I just think our effort and practice every single day, working on the right things, hitting tapes, ex executing, and you know, our box outs, you know, emphasizing that in practice and following in the footsteps of our coaches, whatever they say, just, you know, listen and good things will start coming our way if we keep doing that. Just being harder on our net and kind of make sure we don't let the guys get the inside. We work on it a lot in practice and just the, the behind the net plays are really tough to defend. So we know uh, in, in that situation, you just kind of got to grab a guy and just uh, a little bit of desperation. 
it's nice when I go out there and you know I know where everyone's gonna be and I, I trust everyone to do their job. So it lets me just kind of focus on what I need to focus on and not worry about too much. Everything starts in our D zone and we work out from there and when you're playing good defense and just getting the pucks into our forwards' hands and letting them do their thing and I like spending a lot more time in the O zone. It's way more fun to play there than the D zone so we've created a lot of momentum through that and um, hopefully it'll start uh, coming our way more. The reason we do it in practice is so that we don't have to think about it in a game, it just comes naturally. So I think that seeing it in practice, seeing us work on it and Everyone kind of knows their job, you know, now there's no excuses and you know, it shows in the games. Everyone goes out there and does their jobs and it's, it's good to see. We're creating so many chances throughout the game and we're not getting as many goals as we'd like, but we're playing the right way for 60 minutes and, um, you know, it's going to start uh, coming for us. You look at CC and there was one goal they scored the whole weekend and even St. Cloud is a high power offense. We didn't give them too much, so, you know, I think just kind of seeing that and practicing that is giving us more confidence and uh, once we start putting the puck in the net too, it's uh, good things are going to come. The regular season comes to a close this weekend as UND welcomes Omaha to the Ralph. For North Dakota, home ice in the playoffs is out of reach, but there's still plenty to play for against the Mavericks. It's a big weekend for us. We're, you know, we're going to go into playoffs with you know, a mindset that we need to win every single game, and if we don't, our, our season's going to be over. So you know, playing every game like it's our last and you know, enjoying every moment while we can, and everything that we do in practice will, will show in our games. We've been playing really well lately. You know, I'm really proud of all the guys and can feel it coming along. You know, it's better late than ever, but it's, it's, it's finally coming along, and it's, it's good to see. We've played really well the last couple weekends and we've gotten a couple, uh, lost a couple points here and there in overtime and shootouts, but at the end of the day we are playing how we want to and uh, if we keep playing like that, the bounce will start going our way, we'll start getting rewarded. It's definitely more fun to be on the winning side than the losing side, especially this year. We've played so much time in the offensive zone and created so many chances and you know, it hasn't came our way for all of it, but you know, just keep doing the right things every day and I think that Everything that we do in practice this week will lead into the game and hopefully we can get two wins. Two wins this weekend just gives us so much momentum going to the playoffs here. Doesn't matter where we're going or who we're playing against. Just kind of got to build that momentum and keep everything going. Momentum's everything and just uh, the confidence is a big part too. So when you can put the momentum and confidence together, there's uh, a lot of good things can happen for our group. If we you know, come into this weekend, we, we just think that it's any, any other weekend we can you know, be relaxed out there. I mean, it's just not the right way to look at it. And, we got to have a lot of momentum going to the playoffs, and that's going to be their make or break our season. So winning these two games would be huge, and just taking every game like it's your last and you know, enjoying every moment out there and just have fun. There's no weekends off. It doesn't matter what's, what the stakes are. You know, you got to go out there and play your hardest every night, and it doesn't matter who you're playing against, where you're playing them. It, it doesn't change anything. You know, we got to go out there, do our thing, and just win.